How often do you have to post blog posts for your niche site? What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking the topic down of how often do you have to post a video or uh, not a video, Susie, excuse me, a blog post on your niche site. First of all, thank you guys for watching. Let's go ahead and get into it. So a lot of people who create niche sites have to first define what the niche site is to them. Is this a side hustle? Is this a project that you will be relying produce, uh, relying to produce an income on? Uh, is it going to be replacing your job? Is it going to be something that just provides an extra little bit of cash each and every day? That's the first thing you have to define, right? And there's a different scope of view for that for each and every individual. Just for example purposes, this is a website of many of mine. Uh, it's actually on the smaller side, but it's still a website that I just started to go ahead and show you guys. And this website, by no means, is something that I'm relying to produce income on, but it does produce income, right? Uh, so for me, I could just say it's a passive income generator. If I walked away from it fully, it would be a completely passive income generator. But there are times where I can consider it portfolio income. I'm adding to its portfolio. It's a piece in my portfolio that generates a small income, and it is by no means something that is going to replace my job or the things that I do or how I make my money, right? So it is a component of how I make my money. Therefore, it is a, I guess you could say a side hustle. It's not something that I'm required to work on every day, but I do preach all the time getting 1% better each and every day in your personal business. It doesn't necessarily have to be in your blog. You could be doing something else that day. Maybe it's organizing the office. Maybe it's working on uh, something else in your life that pertains to your business. But each and every day, it's obviously important to, prom to, to uh, improve. Now, in reference to blogging, right, how often do you want to blog each and every day? Like I said, the first thing you have to define is what the blog is to you. Is it going to be something that replaces the job? Is it something that just you're looking to make a few dollars on? Is it something just to have fun on? What is it? Okay, that's the first thing. And second is by when do you want to achieve the time frame? right? So if you say, I want to make $500 a month from this blog, therefore it is a uh, side hustle, right? You have to define the time frame. Do you want it to be within a year that you generate this amount of income? Do you want it to be within five years? Do you want it to be within two years? And also, how long would you want the ideal longevity of that blog to exist? Meaning, if you walked away from the site, how long could it keep producing that income for you? So those are the three components. And when you figure out those three components, it will dictate to you how often do you have to actually work. Now, some people might be asking this question from an algorithmic standpoint. How often do I have to add content to my site? And the answer is not crazy often, especially if you have at least, I would say, 40 or more posts on your site. Uh, in the very beginning, I always recommend that you dictate or dedicate, excuse me, 30 days to a blog post per month, right? So, or excuse me, to a blog site per month. So a niche site per month. And what does that look like? So let's say you're starting a brand new site. In the first 30 days that you start that site, there shouldn't be a single day where you don't go on that site and you're working on that site. Google is looking and waiting to see the content on that site and it's very very important to get the ball rolling in the beginning because if you don't bring the dedication in the beginning it's going to be very very hard later down the road. So that's the first thing okay. After you have let's say a good bed of blog posts let's say at least 30 blog posts well then of course the schedule can change maybe you're not creating content every single day. Maybe you're creating content three times a week, two times a week, five times a week. But like I said, it's very, very important within the first 30 days to get on that blog site, get started, create a content and create a good base for yourself. And I would actually say for most people, you're not as a beginner, you're not going to be able to create 30 blog posts in 30 days. 
uh, especially if the blog posts are going to be really, really well-written posts. So give yourself some grace period, maybe extend that period for 60 days, 90 days. And so that period of time, you should be keep working every single day to create content. You don't have to publish a new blog post every day by no means, but you do have to improve every single day. Now, once again, after you have that good base set solid foundation of blog post that your site is using to generate traffic to, for you each and every day, then it comes back to how you're going to define your site. Do you want your site, like I said, to provide a significant amount of traffic for you every day? Or is it just here and there? There's a lot of different things that come into play. I can tell you that I haven't wrote and written a blog post in a little bit now. So let's say six, seven days on the site because I actually bought two brand new sites um, that I'm actually going to be sharing here on this YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm going to actually talk about that in the next video. So if you want to see that video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the videos, and consistently watch. Um, because, uh, yeah, I bought two brand new sites, and I'll be sharing them here. So, um, I, in fact, if you want to see the video, just probably go to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're not watching this live, like on the same day that I post, if you're watching this a year down the line, a week down the line, just search something like I bought on my channel two, two sites or two websites or two blogs or something like that. Just do some research on and you'll find them in the videos. Uh, I do intend to post a lot here. But regardless, the point is, is that you, that's kind of where you want to look at it. If it's something that's going to replace your job, then obviously you have to make it a priority and you have to work on it each and every day. There's really no negotiation around that. Uh, if you're going to have something as a side hustle, you could maybe go a little bit slower and give yourself a little bit more grace and, uh, you know, be a little bit more forgiving with your with your work habits. But at the same time, you also have to take a look at your speed, right, and where you want to achieve or what you want to achieve by a certain date or a certain period of time. Obviously, you don't want to spend a l too much time trying to achieve a certain goal that could have been achieved, let's say, in 20% of the time or 10% of the time. So keep that in mind. So there's no set number. Google doesn't look at it and say, you know what, these guys don't post X amount in a certain period of time. We're going to derank these guys. It doesn't really work that way. Google looks for content that is good in the marketplace, and it looks for the best to serve a specific need. So if you have a keyword, right, and you serve that keyword very, very well, it's very highly likely that you're going to gain a lot of traffic from it, regardless of how often you post. But um, like I said, keep in mind your personal goals, because Google is not going to either give you an advance or kind of hurt you in that kind of realm. All right. So Focus on the content, focus on your specific goals, and the algorithm is just going to play its part, take the content, and start sorting it. All right? Sounds good. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.